Hi, my name is Pedro Videla, I'm professor of economics at ESA Business School. Today we want to talk a little bit about the debt problem that the European periphery countries are suffering. It has been three years since Lehman's brother went belly up, and still we live in a, in a world of high, high level of economic uncertainty. This slide shows the leading indicator index from the OECD. In it, we can see that during this year, it has been a worsening of all the expectation of growth in the main economics of the world. It has been a worsening of the growth of the main economies of the world. During the year 2001, with the exception of Japan, the United States, the G7, China, the Eurozone, and the BRICS, meaning Brazil, Russia, India, and China, has shown a deterioration of the expected growth. At the center of this uncertainty and likely future recession in the world economy, it's the crisis of the Eurozone. It's given a systematic risk to the rest of the world. The second slide shows us the outstanding fiscal debt of the countries of the periphery of the Eurozone. In it, we can see that Greece has a debt over GDP ratio of 143%. Uh, Spain, it's a country that has the lowest level of fiscal debt uh, of all the countries in problem. But the fiscal debt has not been the only source of problem. It has been also the problem of private debt. The next slide shows us this, comparing the fiscal deficit with the current account deficit during the period of the boom of these economies. In the left-hand side, you can see the fiscal deficit, and you can see there that Greek and Portugal were they had a huge accumulation of public debt. Spain and Ireland, on the other hand, are at the bottom in terms of fiscal deficit. In fact, they had a fiscal surplus. The right-hand column shows us the current account deficit. That means how much they borrowed during the period 2000 to 2007, years of the boom. And there you can see that Spain and Ireland borrowed a huge amount of money, but not for the fiscal sector, but for the private sector. How we can get out from this big mess of the European, uh, of European debt? Well, there are many proposals on the table today. The most likely of all is that Greek will have to recognize that it's in default, meaning it will have to have a debt restructuring. The finance minister of Greece told us that the haircut, the potential haircut, might arrive to 50%. The big problem if Greeks actually has a debt restructuring, is that we might have some contagion to countries like Spain and Italy. How can we stop this negative effect from Greek to big countries like Spain and Italy? Here, the European Central Bank will have to play a key role. The European Central Bank will have to keep buying Italian and Spanish bonds in order to avoid the speculative attack that they will suffer. The problem is that this buying of the bonds, it go against the basic of the Maastricht Treaty. This is not what we expected when we created the European Central Bank. This is another way to bail out the banks that have a huge exposure to the debt of these periphery countries. This is another way to socialize the losses of the private sector. At the end, the people that will pay this big mess will be all the guys that hold euros through a huge inflation tax.